Hello, group. Hello, everybody. Uh, as you can see, uh, nice time here. <laughs> well, praise God, praise God. I just want to say hello to the group um, making this video and got the camera towards the other side of the lake where buildings there are all lit up. I think uh, over there you can see a little bit of Christmas decorations. Uh, people are starting to put their Christmas decorations up. Praise God, it's already the ninth, and before you know it, Christmas will be here. It's a glorious time of the year. I love Christmas, and I love Easter, and um, those are just precious time holidays to me. Um, yes, uh, I had a discussion tonight about with somebody, I'm not going to mention names, about Jesus. Um, being God and um, I try to explain to them that you know it's hard to explain the Trinity the Godhead and how God you know I mean there's some things you know that God reveals to us and some things that he doesn't you know I mean um, you know Many people think with their cardinal mind, think with the human mind. Uh, you have to remember that we're to put on the mind of Christ, but that God is, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Our, his ways are higher than our ways. So it's not a matter of knowing how it works. It's a matter of trusting that it does. Uh, there are many things that are a mystery to us, but God will reveal them to us, and there's a time and a place when uh, we will know these things. But uh, blessed are those that have never seen, uh, that uh, believe. And um, as a Christian, uh, and Christians believe that Jesus is God and that uh, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and God was the Word. So that tells us that uh, He is the I Am. He is the Almighty, Lord God. He is the beginning and the end, the creator of all things and uh, all things were made for His glory. And uh, it's, it's not an easy thing to explain, you know, when it comes to explaining how Jesus is God. Just that you know that you know that you know that he is. And a lot of people, they may have had visitations. They may have seen miraculous things uh, in the supernatural. They may, they may have even had after by uh, after death experiences but um seeing god and having experience a uh, spiritual experience is one thing but being born again and giving your heart and your life and living for christ is another so one may think that because they had a dream or an experience or something and such, not saying it's not real, that that's what makes them born again. No, it's born again is a spiritual birth that takes place. And God speaks about it. Jesus said to Nicodemus in his word that you must be born again. So when you ask Christ to come into your life with all sincereness and willing to surrender all and give your life over to him knowing that you might have tried every which way you can your way and nothing works then you get to a point where you ask god to to, to take control of your life and to ask him to forgive it forgiveness of your sins and um with a sincere heart god will come in and he'll change you and he'll change your life and he'll make you the man or the woman that he wants you to be. 
And that's how God tells us in his word. So, salvation is made easy. It's man that makes everything complicated because God made it easy. I mean, to obey and trust and believe and believe that Jesus came and died for your sins and rose again and believe the word of God. And with that, those that even call upon the name shall be saved. Those that even call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So praise God, hallelujah. And I hope that everybody that um, I know on here and everywhere believes that Jesus is the almighty Lord God that came and died for your sin and mine and everyone. So praise God, praise God. So have a very good, glorious night in the Lord. I love you all in the Lord. And Jesus is Lord. Amen.